Hi guys, welcome back to this week's video. If you're new here, I post all sorts of videos on chinchillas every Sunday, so don't forget to subscribe. Now, I have been using the Critter Nation cage for about a month now, and in today's video, I thought it would be fun to show you the unboxing process and an honest review. So without further ado, let's get straight into the video. The cage I got is the Critter Nation model, 162 double unit which is 36 inches by 24 inches by 63 inches. Now I got this cage from Amazon for about 250 US dollars but sometimes these prices change on Amazon. So this cage is surprisingly heavy and it was really hard to lift up but now I'm going to unbox it. Yeah so this is basically what it looks like when you open the box. Now it's time to set it up. Enjoy this quick clip of me assembling it. So the setup process was pretty straightforward. There was an instruction book which helped and it took me about one and a half hours to assemble it by myself. But I assume it would be faster if you have two people. And ta-da! Here's what the cage looks like with all the pans and ramps inside. It's nice that the ramps came with a fleece to cover it so you don't have to make your own. And it's a nice color too. But otherwise, for the pans, you might have to make your own fleece liners because it is plastic. So I did finish setting it up. If you want to watch me do that, I have made a cage makeover video on my channel, so feel free to check it out. Anyway, I'm going to use it for one month and come back to review it. Okay, it has been um, one month. I love this cage. It is super big, but you need to make sure that you have room in your house to keep this cage because it is so big. This is the cage that I've got going. I have not finished decorating it. This is Pandora, she is super cute. Okay, one thing that I absolutely love about this cage is that you can open both of the doors. It makes the cleaning process super easy and I just have to sweep and it's done. Okay, so this is Pandora. When I first put her into the cage, she seemed a bit reluctant because well, obviously it's a new environment for her. Um, so what I did was, as you can see, I put the liners from the old cage into the new cage because um, so she could still have that familiar scent near her. But now she loves this cage. It, she runs all around it and she absolutely loves this cage. So the one critique I have about this cage is that some of the doors don't close properly. In order to close the doors, you squeeze this. This tip will go down so you can see. As you can see, when I try and put it back, it doesn't completely go in. I have to push it and then it, the door fully closes. So that, that's a bit annoying, but I don't really mind because even if it doesn't close properly, she can't get out. I, I think the reason is because I have fleece in the cage and it sort of like blocks the door from closing properly. But that is just the one thing that sort of bugs me. And that goes the same for the bottom doors too. Like every time you close it, you have to push it in. And the other thing I wanted to talk about were the wheels. Obviously, these wheels are made out of plastic, so you have to be mindful. If you have a chinchilla, they might want to chew this wheel. So Pandora did try to chew these wheels a couple of times, but I did manage to stop her. And it's good that she doesn't always try to chew them, or that would be a problem. So yeah, that is it for this week's video. If you enjoyed this, make sure to subscribe because I post videos every Sunday. And thank you so much for watching until the end and I will see you very, very soon. Bye!